Google is threatening to shut down in Australia. The dispute is over a proposed law that would require the company to pay publishers for news. We want to bring in Dan Halley for more on this. And Dan, I guess the big question is, one, the details of Google's argument, and then two, if Australia's government has responded to this threat yet. Uh, yeah, Australia's government has responded. The Prime Minister said that uh, Australia uh, doesn't respond to threats. So uh, obviously taking this very <laughs> seriously. Uh, and the, the argument here is uh, based on uh, a law that's in the works to be passed uh, regarding how outlets uh, or services like Google and Facebook use links for news outlets. Now, uh, the media industry obviously has been hurt uh, tremendously by uh, the pandemic, as have others, but it's also been hurt by the massive amount of advertising that's gone to uh, both Google and Facebook, which are essentially the online and industry uh, in total outside of Amazon, which is also up and coming. But uh, w one of the issues here with this law that Google is taking is uh, essentially if you were to go uh, and click on a link in Australia from a Google search to uh, one of those uh, outlets, or if you see a preview of one of those outlet stories, Google would have to pay the outlet. Now, uh, Google's objection is that if there's a snippet of one of those stories and a link, then that means that Google would have to pay the outlets as well. And that, they say, uh, would fundamentally break the internet because uh, that's essentially the groundwork that the internet is laid on, free linking between uh, different companies. Now, uh, Australia says that they're continuing to work on this. Uh, right now, as the uh, negotiations go, Google can either enter, or if the law goes, goes into effect, Google can either enter into negotiations with media outlets, or if they can't do that, uh, they would go into arbitration uh, and whatever uh, kind of negotiations they reach there would be binding. So it really is interesting, and this is something that's being watched globally, as how these kinds of companies, Google and Facebook, uh, will be kind of held account hey to the media services that they benefit from. Dan, I'm trying to understand. I'm going to use a crude analogy. It's almost like in the 1990s, if you went to the Yellow Pages and then you looked for something, you'd have to pay. The Yellow Pages would have to pay each time you found the listing in the Yellow Pages, not the service you went to, but the actual search device would be the ones paying. Could this set a precedent for U.S. lawmakers if this thing were to pass? And that's that's the hope, really, for for some publishers. And, you know, the idea here being that, look, a lot of the revenue from newsrooms around the world has been siphoned off because of the digital advertising that's basically, again, run by uh, Google and Facebook as well as uh, Amazon. So they want to be able to kind of pull some of that back. And this is a way for them to do that. And Google and uh, Facebook have pushed back on this uh, around the world. Uh, they have made donations to certain uh, efforts to raise journalism uh, in different countries. Uh, and they have made agreements uh, in Europe uh, with some organizations to pay publishers, but that doesn't account for the massive number of organizations around the world uh, that aren't seeing any benefit from working with Google and Facebook. They, however, say uh, that the links that Google and Facebook provide to their websites is more than enough compensation. But obviously, uh, if people are clicking, uh, it doesn't matter as long as the advertisers aren't buying. And well, despite this dispute, Google, Google is still holding on to gains today with the stock up nearly 1%. Dan Halley, thanks for breaking that down for us.